Good morning, this is Andrew for Geek News Central. Today I'm bringing you the unboxing of uh, Venture Elite Win S11 KT. This is one of the sort of two in one convertible tablet stroke laptop devices. It runs Windows 10, it comes with a quad core Atom processor, so uh, it's, it's kind of, I mean, yeah, it's in the sort of lower end of the market, but priced at only £250, well, £249.99, you know, it's a, it's a good low cost device, does two jobs, but let's open it up and take a look and see if they've had to cut any corners to reach that price point. Readers of Geek News will remember that I um, reviewed the predecessor to this uh, earlier in the year. Um, I had a few issues, largely because I've got big fat fingers, but other than that I found it uh, quite, a, quite a compelling little device. So let's take a look. That's cool. Just to let you see the back of the box. Before I open it up, oh. let's put a tape on here. Hold on, I'm just gonna, just gonna pause the video whilst I do this. Okay, so my scissors are on the other side of the room. So inside the box we've got a little little pamphlet there, and let's presume this is going to be the power supply. Yep, there's the, the little SD card. And now I think the internal memory of the device is about 32, 32 gigs, and they provide some additional storage on the outside. It's uh, in a, the shape of a, a memory card that. Uh, 64 gigs, I don't know if you can kind of see that. So obviously, you know, it's got it, this must have, well, obviously it does have a micro SD card and you can expand the storage really to whatever your budget stretches to. Now this, uh, this feels like a, yeah, I mean there's a, there we go. Okay. Finch. So, here we go. So here's the the Ventura. Um, so it's got a, it's got a kind of um, a soft. Although it looks like it's got a steel or a metal cover here, it's got a um, sort of soft touch cover to it. I'm kind of feels a bit odd when you, or it's it's like your expectations are confused, and that you expect it to be cold metal, but uh, in fact it's uh, got a kind of soft touch rubber to it. Okay, and you got a kind of plastic backside. Pretty sturdy hinge on the back there. So let's see if we can open it up. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so here we have and yep the the, the sorry the, this bit here has that same soft touch bit to it. Okay. This is uh I, I mean already I can I'm kind of uh, I like this, you know? It's it's certainly not the the slimmest or the sveltest device I've ever used, but uh, and it's quite heavy actually. I have to admit, I'm not sure quite how heavy it is. I can check that out later on, um, but it's it's certainly no lightweight. I'm just looking at the spec sheet here to see if it says how heavy it is, but nope. Okay, so let's see if we can get it to power. Let's have a wee look around, see what ports and things there are here. So. Um, Okay, so let's have. Okay, so let's take a look at the ports. It looks like we've got. Uh, uh, what we've got? Presumably that's a microphone. You've got HDMI. You've got a micro USB. You've got the charging port. Um, On/off button. USB. Kind of the Windows button. Yep. Speak around here. Rocker switch there for volume, I would imagine. And you've got a, a camera. Apparently, there's uh, two cameras. Both of them just two megapixels. So good enough for a bit of video conferencing, but that's pretty much about it. And I think if I hopefully no, there must be some kind of oh no, just give it a wee bit of a push, and you can see how it detaches. And you've got the uh, you've got the tablet itself there. Looking at the mechanism, it looks pretty sturdy. It's the same kind of mechanism that they had on the the previous one. Um, you've got the two big notches, and obviously you've got some kind of like these like pogo pins. But uh, 
Yeah, the keyboards. Yeah, the keyboard actually, the keyboard actually feels quite good. I like it. So let's see if it'll power up. It might not. I might need to charge it first. So the on/off switch is just here. Yep, here we go. Just let it run through its paces. So it runs Windows 10, and whilst that's booting up, we'll just go through the spec sheet. So it runs Windows 10 and comes with a um, an Office uh, one-month trial for Office 365. In terms of the processor, it is a quad-core processor with a 1.83 gigahertz processor. Um, it comes with the usual connectivity: um, 802.11bg and N, Bluetooth. And um, we kind of ran through the connectors around the side: micro SD, micro USB. Um, the micro, if it's if it's as it was when I had it before, you can use the micro USB for charging, and you can also use the DC jack for charging. Um, you've got your headphone, you've got your mini HDMI, um, and yes, you've got the microphone, and you saw the speaker on the back of it. Well, let's um, let's just get this underway a wee bit. I'm just going to take it to one side so that uh, we can't see exactly who's using. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's obviously got the uh, some of the audio assistance for uh, uh, the visually impaired turned on. Not quite too sure how you turn that off, but uh, let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, after a bit of typing, I've managed to get it uh, all sorted out. Um, it's going through the, the startup. Usual ten initiation. I guess I should say that the screen is a one three six by seven six eight IPS. Doesn't look too bad here from here. Actually looks quite good. Certainly one of the um, did I have an issue? No. Well, can't really remember. I mean, in picking it up and giving it a hold, I mean, this is definitely much sturdier than the, I think, the previous one that I, that I uh, reviewed. There was a certain amount of creak and flex, shall we say, when, um, when I was using the previous one. The just the trackpad is perhaps a little unusual. There isn't actually any movement at all in the trackpad. It's very much just kind of built in, and it's a, it's a double tap for. Uh, you know, for button presses and things like that, um, but there is no, there's no motion at all. I, when I tried it out before, um, it took me a little while to get the hang of it, uh, but it does work. There's, it's, it's not a. Once you get over the fact that you, you know, you have to hear a click or feel a bit of motion, it it works fine. Um, Okay, well that was it. That was pretty speedy, really, for in my experience when it comes to uh, getting laptops and tablets set up. Um, presumably, all the you've got all the usual bits and bobs. Let's see what the responsiveness is like. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of kind of get with that. Actually, it's not. Uh, let's just see what we can start up. Um, I I just need to get this onto the network. I've Okay, so, right. okay, so I've got it onto the wireless network. Um, I've just taken it away from the keyboard, so it wants me to switch to tablet mode. So let's say yes, as we're using it just with the tablet. Let's just have a quick whiz through, say, uh, the internet to see how it goes. Um, let's open up, um, say, the BBC. See how quickly it does. Now, obviously, some of this is going to be dependent on the connection. So, uh, just continue. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, usual doom and gloom from the world of politics. And, but sad to see that uh, the Forty Tower star Andrew Sachs died. Okay, let's just tick, type on one of these. Yep. 
Yeah, I mean that seems to be pretty responsive. And of course, let's we better just uh, check out Geek News Central and see what uh, Todd's been up to today. I think there's a there's a new. Uh, oops, can't even spell Geek News. I think there's a new podcast out today. Classic double typing error. Yep, so Todd's got a new podcast out today. Oh, there's my review of some Devolo Parline gear. Okay, well, look at first impressions. To me, the. Um, to me, this is, looks like it runs pretty well. I'll report, report back in more detail on the, uh, on the Geek News blog. Um, just in terms of the unboxing, I'm pretty impressed. Um, for 250 quid, um, you get you know a device that doubles as a tablet, as a laptop. Um, it seems to be pretty sturdily made. Um, okay, yes, it's not gonna um, it's not gonna win any prizes for its aesthetics, but you know it's not bad. I mean, obviously there are is some competition out there. Um, Lenovo certainly has some low cost laptops, but the I guess the real differentiator here is that um, you you have the both the laptop and the tablet mode available to you. Um, as I say, I'll report back in more detail on the Geek News Central website. Um, this is priced at just a penny under two hundred and fifty quid. It um, I gather it's going to be available from Amazon. Um, so if you are interested, um, have a look on there. But overall, um, first impressions it's pretty good. So this is Andrew for Geek News Central signing off. Thanks very much.